Hey everyone, Ace playing here. In this video, I'm simply recapping my experience at Spooky World Nightmare New England on opening night. This was last Friday, September 25th, 2020. Now, I did not record anywhere, so if you want to get an idea of the hayride and the houses firsthand, I would recommend checking out the Spooky World website where they have some video clips from their YouTube channel. And the way it works this year is that you make a reservation time, which I did, and you buy your ticket online, then you go to the ticket booth and pick up your ticket. Let's start off with the parking. Uh, the parking was a bit of a mess, not controlled or managed properly. The lot attendants were doing the best they could with the local police who were doing the best they could. It was just mismanaged all around, so that is an absolute failure on the management team. Not the staff or local police, they did the best they could with what they were given. Now, this is opening night. Of course, it's going to be busy. You need to be prepared for that. Or you don't open at all. And forgive me, because I am going to say that a few times in this video. Anyway, once you park, you follow a one-way path from the lot I was at anyway. As you go through, the local PD escort you across the lot into Mel's Funway Park. And then from there, you walk through the park to the ticket booth in the back. There were four lanes that were roped off, and two of them were full of people, and the other two were supposed to be the exits or so people were assuming or were told. I don't know, it was a mess. People started going through the open two lanes and then people from the two lanes that were full of people started moving into those lanes and it just caused madness. So now you've got four lines with at least over a hundred people very angry and upset with no direction on which line is first, which one is for people purchasing tickets, which one is for people that already have tickets, yada, yada, yada. Then, to top it all off, and again, this is opening night, you have one person managing the line. One single person managing the line, or these four different lines. It was a mess. Absolute mess, absolute failure on the management's part. I felt bad for that one person because they were getting yelled at and they did not deserve it whatsoever. Again, like I said, failure on the management part. If you couldn't handle having more than one person manage the lines, you shouldn't have opened it all. So then the actual ticket booth, plenty of staff there, got my ticket, very quick process, wristband, boom, out of there. So then you walk out of there. There's a lot of walking, by the way. Keep this in mind. So you walk out of there back to Mel's Funway Park, and then there is an area for each allotted time slot, like for example, 8.15, 8.30, 8.45. You'd go in the lane for your allotted time slot, and then wait at the very end to go into the main line for the Haunted Hayride. Now, I purchased the Jumbo Pass, which was supposed to get me this VIP experience type of thing, but it did not. Absolutely not, doesn't exist. But it comes with other features too, so it's not just for this so-called VIP line or special line. It didn't exist. They, there was a sign for it, but it didn't exist. There was ropes that were broken. I don't know if somebody pulled them down, but it was a mess. Anyway, get to the end of the line there for my time slot. And because it was so busy and people were so late getting their tickets, that caused a delay with me getting in line at my time. It was only about five, 10 minute delay, not a big deal, I understand. But I am more understanding than most people. And at the end of this line, you had two people, two people managing all these people trying to get in to their allotted time slot. And they were getting yelled at and they were getting scolded, and it was not fair to them. They were doing the best they could, and uh, I gotta give them credit, because again, failure on the management's part. If you can't have enough people managing the lines, don't open. Anyway, moving on to the actual line, you get in line uh, to go on the hayride, and the hayride this year is set up so that the actual wagon or carriage or whatever has these dividers. Now this is good for COVID. You know, it's, it's meant to protect you from, you know, spreading or getting COVID. The problem here is that it ruins your sight. So you cannot see the other side of the carriage. You cannot see the sides, the left or the right. You can only see basically what's in front or above you. And that ruins the immersion experience. So the hayride itself, for what they did, they did the best they could, I understand, but it's definitely been way better in the past, obviously. I mean, there wasn't even any hay. So you were sitting directly on the wood. It was super uncomfortable, but I get it. I understand why. I just feel like maybe don't do the hayride then. I don't know, because the thing is about halfway through the hayride, 
even though there were all these things preventing you from enjoying it like you normally would, even though all these things were in place, it was still great once it got going about halfway through. Like the actual theming and scares and things like that were actually pretty good, I thought. So, you know, hopefully next year we won't have to deal with any of this because I'd like to see it again without any of the dividers and all that stuff. After you get off the hayride, you're directed to the single line that you follow to go into the first house. This is called the Colony. Definitely number one house out of the three. I liked it because you're in a house and then you exit the house and walk through the woods a little bit. Then you go into another house and you do this a few times over bridges and, and some of the bridges are meant to feel very different. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but when you walk across them, you're like, oh, that feels weird. And it was just done really well. The scare actors were great. Like I said, some places unfortunately got a little too close, but... I blame the design of the buildings for that, for putting the scare actors in those locations. They shouldn't have had them in those tight areas, and you would have been all set. But overall, definitely the best house, or houses. The colony was fantastic. Then you get out of that area, you walk over to Brigham Manor. Brigham Manor looks the best from the outside, has the best theming, there's a giant skull, there's like fire behind you in the background which isn't technically a part of the house, but it's cool to see. Then there's the manor itself. It looks very scary. It's great. Great theming for that one on the outside. On the inside, eh, it's okay. Definitely my least favorite house, but not that scary. It's just, it was very basic in my opinion. But the props were good. The scare actors were good. It was an okay house. Not my favorite. Number three for sure. Finally, you get out of that house. You go over to Dreamscape 3D. Number two house, definitely. Um, the thing about this house is it's not so scary, unless you really don't like clowns, but the theming was just really cool, and some of the props and stuff, and the way you walk across certain bridges and things like that, there's all these optical illusions that are just really cool. But yeah, it's all these bright neon things, and it's really cool. Very cool house, I liked it a lot, um, but Colony, just right above it. And then after that, you're let out into the food area uh, with some carnival games. Very limited though, there wasn't a lot. It was pretty basic, honestly. But after that, then you walk all the way back to your car and you leave. You can leave, or if you have a jumbo pass like I did, you can do uh, some of the Mel's Funway Park stuff, which include mini golf, uh, go-karts, and batting cages. So overall, I did have a good time, but I know a lot of people didn't. And I know some people were frustrated. I was frustrated, don't get me wrong. And I think a lot of that just needs to be managed better. It's opening night. Like, what are you doing? I understand it's COVID, but get your stuff together, Spooky World. Because you could have something really, really cool. And I think people would enjoy it more. And, you know, the employees wouldn't be frustrated. The customers wouldn't be frustrated. But, yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Have you been to Spooky World? Are you interested in going to Spooky World? Take care. <laughs>